According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia IV and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avgin extinction event, who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. Wow. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Uh, Lisa? What pretty eyes. Jade. Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet... You went and killed that man anyway. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Well, ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Um, what? Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Hmm. <laughs> What do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. Thirty Tonbas. The remainder of my... market value. Thirty Tonbas. No more? No less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I... I'm Diamond's representative, and I will decide on his behalf. Oh boy. You're wrong. 30 Tonbas, he'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. What? Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go, pick the clothes you like, then choose your desired identity. And then, <laughs> use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Wow. Life is 
like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Incredible streak. Is it because Gyathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? That is always the question. After we've reached our goals, is what comes next? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or... Will I encounter failure, never to return? I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas, lowly gambler. What? What? What the? <sighs> Am I dreaming? Or have I gone completely insane? Perhaps both. Forgotten me already? When you were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlords. Who was it that gave you the idea? What? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you. And perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? <laughs> why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart-to-heart -heart while we walk. <laughs> what exactly are you? Seriously? spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. Interesting. Kakabasha, I am your future. <laughs> First I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? His future? Why are there no guests here? What's that featherhead doing? Just a Bepeshi? No. A child? On Earth? I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? What's wrong, mister? You don't look well. His eyes! Is that him as a child? <sighs> Your eyes? Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. 
What? Uh, mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. What? Are... Are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Those eyes... And Mama Thung... No, no, it... It can't... There aren't any Avgens left. Papa! Mama! Wait for me! <laughs> Only on Panacone, am I right? <sighs> what are you still doing here? Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? I didn't even think about that. However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink syrup is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panacone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely feat. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting. Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracies, calculations. <laughs> especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> Oh, and everyone thinks this way. Who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? Wait, what? <laughs> Go on. Tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Uptight, overcautious, massive inferiority complex. You want so much, you're still so afraid of losing. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight flush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips for dear life. That's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience, you fool yourself too. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. Wow. I never thought about that. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation. Was that not what you most wanted? But you chose the IPC instead. For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? We're done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Dang. Well, it's not going to be me, anyway. Ah, playing hide-and-seek. I'm really good at this. <laughs> I'm convinced that I would throw up if I actually went through that myself. Catechins 
those shrill cackles. You had to hide right under the noses of those savages. You and Big Sis, playing dead, drifting in all that bloody water. Completely ruined that shirt. <laughs> Shame. Wasn't that the last one Dad left behind? Wow. It wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Oh, come on. It's a rag. It's not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. Your social capital has changed, after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to be it. You should enjoy it. Interesting. Could he be in here? What is that? Is this a topaz? What is this doing here? <laughs> <laughs> what does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart, son? <sighs> I was merely curious of why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. To taunt you. <laughs> Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is nothing but a death rattle. The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Clipon's body. <laughs> I've got to give it to you. I've heard a lot of baloney, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. What? This is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. What? That doctor's acting was superb. Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and leak the plan on purpose to prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. He spoke the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found the other cornerstone, and before you know it, everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. The third stone? <sighs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Your mind. <laughs> it's our mind. You're me, and I'm you. We're the same. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. Wow. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hands. Rather beautiful brain. Just like you. Smooth. And cunning. Tell me. What's its name? <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Ah, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what she said when you received the stone, wasn't it? What? This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem is... What? Jade. Jade! Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, it looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. Sauce for the goose. The Venturine, Topaz, Jade, three elites, three corner 
cornerstones who, for a measly panicelli, offered their everything. Oh, you're even more united than the family. Huh. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> We'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Pick it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> Suddenly you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Wow. Piled up with these cheap baubles. You smashed the adventuring stone before you left. Oh, just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous shape. I take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. Wow. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against Clipon's body. You think the IPC will let you get off scot free? Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Now I'm really curious. Why does every step you take involve reckless risks and the choices you prepare for yourself always come with a strong impulse for self-destruction? Do you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the rewards? I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is... If you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. Ah, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the heart. Huh? Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course. Big Sis is there, too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. <laughs> I think you mean Phil. I was about to say. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> How's that? Not a bad score, eh? Wait, where'd he go? <sighs> Boring. <sighs> Why aren't you talking? You've piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have... Precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Yeah, okay. Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. There is no water. Oh, Only the rock. There are so many flowers here. Rock and no Fix water. This. This Only the sandy you. road. 
A dead end? Oh, is this the wrong way? It, is this? It's the chains. Oh, what's on your mind? It's got nothing to do with you. Do you need a hand? These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. You made your first ponacle. I remember it all too well. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist. For that is the only tool you could find. Then, in that maze. Shut up. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth only 60 tonnas. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it. Because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But he refused to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. Not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. <laughs> could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. Opal? A pity you're not him. What? Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? You assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that masked fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? You mean, it could make all the cards on the table just... Where'd he go? That's cheating. If these leaves could be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? Were there waters? Amongst the rock. never consider selling it. You obviously could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Oh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't sell them. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told me to. Tisk, tisk. A lifelong regret. Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ! 
Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are nuts! <laughs> In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> well, you stuck to that start to finish. Think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool, and a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. The only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. Death. But whose exactly? We'll know when the dice falls. <laughs> All right then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiathra's blessing? <sighs> So quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? <sighs> finally made it out of this place. We're going home? But I don't want to go back yet. It's so fun here. I want to stay here forever. It's wonder! <laughs> ah, it really is you. I don't know why, mister. But you always give me a special feeling that makes me more curious about you. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Mm. You're going back? Yes, I should go home. The day's getting dark and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. Your home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. <sighs> this amusement park. This beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, mister, why don't you like it? Because it's not real. <laughs> because they're not here. Where are they then? I don't know. You do know. But there's no point pressing the issue. <laughs> Yeah. We all are. Which is why we chose to stay here. Me. And him. Your past. And future. How long will you stay? Forever. We'll be with you forever in this dream. This is the greatest honor that we can offer to those who hurdle towards death. <laughs> the road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. But you've never gone in any other direction. Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. Always has been. You don't care who the real murderer is, and the watchmaker's so-called legacy couldn't be more boring. What you want, what you need, is to be the smooth operator, the solid gold deal maker who doesn't waste a drop of sweat, even when he's up to his neck in danger, deep inside. 
outside family territory. You want to be polished up, cuffed with red hot chains and spotlit center stage. <laughs> You'll be the closing act, the final sacrifice. I can do it. And it will be flawless. Ugh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. It's that simple, Mel. That way, the IBC will earn a place at the table. And as for you... You'll just happen to slip the leash, sweep the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death and its curtains will fall on another death. So that's why Diamond chose you. What? He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? My, I was born from yourself. Climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. I can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. Though luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning, having never lost before, but why you? Why must it be you? If all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love, on the loss of dozens more, if these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyanthra, if all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths, then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? <sighs> maybe... Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. <laughs> sure. So you're an actor! No wonder your clothes are so stylish. 
I'm actually a... merchant. But I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is... much higher than theirs. <laughs> I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. Aww. <laughs> of course you can. You'll be better and stronger than me. Behind this curtain is the grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gayathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The catechins are coming. Oh no. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. They know the Afjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this ring, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. This time, we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The catechins stand no chance against them, and will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha. Whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But. but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. She will bless you with good fortune. And help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid, and do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you, and the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, wow. which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. 
The clan launched a massive attack on the Abjin, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. That is massive. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? He's gone. <laughs> Bye. Okay. All the actors are in place. It's time for the show to begin. I'm so nervous. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What? You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. <laughs> 